Getting to Christmas Island has become a lot easier now with Fiji Airways flying direct from Nandi to Christmas Island. Christmas Island is a small little island in the heart of the Pacific. It has some of the most amazing reef systems, but from a fly fisherman's point of view, it also has some of the most amazing sand flats in the world. It's literally full of fish, and to us in particular, it's very important because it's full of bonefish. And there's nothing that gets you out of bed in the morning to see a sunrise like that over the most amazing sand flats in the world. G'day, I'm Gavin from Early's Fly Fishing and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. We're over in magnificent Christmas Island and the, the sun's out, the sand's white and the bonefish are everywhere. We're at a place called Paris Flats uh, and it's a beautiful uh, flat that goes right near the mouth that comes into this lagoon. And the lagoons are filled with some of the most amazing sand flats in the world. They hold mainly bonefish, but a lot of other species as well. But we're here at Paris to target some of the big schools of bonefish that you get on the full moon or a few days after. And you'll find a school of maybe two, three hundred, sometimes even up to a thousand fish just swimming around. You've got a big heavy fly to make sure it gets down uh, where a lot of the bigger fish are. You strip that through and hopefully you can tackle with a real monster. So that's our plan. We've got to find this school, try and keep up with it and get this fly in front of them and see what we can't uh, get on the end of this. There's always that panic when that fly line that's wrapped around here to get hooked on a, on a handle or the real seat, that sort of tends to take the fun out of that as the backing comes screaming out and I've got that drag set pretty tight just to slow them up a bit because some of them that you can get are going to be in that you know 7, 8 to 10 to even 12 pound range and that's where they'll go all the way back to London where we're staying which is a about a kilometre away, so what? So that sort of slows them up a little bit. But they're just fantastic. And, and I I love trout fishing, and, and I think it's great to throw a dry fly to a rising trout and all that sort of stuff, and I really am a trouty. But bone fishing is just incredible. Christmas Island is by far, by far, the best bone fishing place on the planet. There's just so many, so you get so many opportunities. I've just got to try and catch up here to maintain that pressure. You get so many opportunities here that if you do muck up your cast, because they are pretty selective, oh, there we go. and everything's got to be done right. So if you do muck it up, you don't have to start crying straight away because there'll be another one that you can get. So it's a good place to come and learn bone fishing as well. And in an environment like this, I mean, you look around, you, you do a 360 and there's just, there's just not a bad setting. It's incredible. The water's lovely and warm. And that's coming from our Melbourne winter where we're scraping the ice off the front of the windscreen every morning, you know? So this is a great change to come here and experience this. And it's something as a fly fisherman, I think everybody needs to do it, to catch or bone fish, to, to, to see the environment you're in here and the other species as well, let alone, I mean, these are bones which are magnificent, but just down on another flat, you'll be able to target, you know, the GTs or there'll be trigger fish, you know, or you can go outside and there's, there's tuna, sailfish, you know, like it's, it's, it's endless, the opportunities that you get at, at Christmas Island, which just makes it um, incredible, <laughs> as it just nearly took out the, the camera. But they're just an incredible fish, and I'll get him in, and they do call bonefish the ghost of the flats, because when they're coming straight at you, they'll look like gray, or, or some look uh, bright green, and they stand out like the proverbial. But as soon as they turn side on, they're chrome, and I'll show you that as soon as we, if we can hang on to this one anyway, um, to show you what they're like. And as soon as they turn side on, that chrome reflects both the sand and the sky. So you literally cannot see them, and they, they turn into a ghost. They're here one minute, on the next. But we'll see if we can't hang on to this one to give you a closer look at what Christmas Island bonefish are all about. Nearly, 
hilly there and there's not much you can do. You've just got to tire him out. And he's not a monster, but they're all good fun. I mean, even you get a pounder, and if, you, if you've got your drag set on a trout drag, a one pound bonefish will take you 50 metres into your backing. And this one will be a good two or three pound, but just solid fish. They're all just muscle the whole way through. It will just let the rod do the work. Good reel at that drag. You can get their head up. Might be a little bit bigger. I think it might be about three and a half, four pound. But they're all just muscle. And they've got, you can see there, that tail is incredible power. And they're just chrome as anything. Just the reflection on there, it's no wonder you can't see it. And they have that funny shaped head. So for them to eat, they've got to tilt their whole body up to eat crabs and uh, things right from the, the uh, on the sand. Just get that hook out. Come on, mate. Perfect. And that's what you come to Christmas Island for. They were an amazing fish to target on the fly. And, uh, he's good. Better put him back in. Let him go and uh, swim. With that school again. And they school up at this time of the year to spawn, so they'll uh, they'll get in, in big groups and can be up to you know up to 500 or even a thousand fish swim around, and uh, essentially that's when they get into their spawning mode. Away they go. And there's an enormous amount of bonefish in these Christmas Island lagoons. They're the biggest uh, amount of sand flats in the world, and they are full of bonefish. Because as a tourist, I can't kill any fish at all in the lagoon itself, and the locals can't kill any bonefish in the lagoon. So that's really well looked after and maintained because they appreciate what fly fishing brings to the community. It's an amazing thing. So, uh, yeah. The good news is we've still got plenty, plenty, plenty more bones to catch. Better get out there and into one. just got magnificent eyes. You're a little bit taller maybe. Yeah, maybe. But just, yeah. just sees everything there. And what just looks like a little bit of glare and shimmer is bonefish and he can pick them up. So, fantastic. G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bonefish in Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden.